The weekend's perfect weather made it a great time for both a new event and a returning favorite here in Chesapeake. First up, Saturday brought the inaugural Dismal Swamp Art Festival to the Canal Trail. Andy, this has your name written all over it. <laughs> you know why? Because there's sand in it. I mean, I enjoy painting. I enjoy painting with people watching. I like doing uh, classes, instructions, how to paint with color theory, heavy textures. Pretty good day for it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful here. The weather is great. We've got a great trail. It may be a little bit off 17, but it's worth the drive. A lot of people do not really appreciate the beauty that is found in the Dismal Swamp, and I think that it's just great that these artists are highlighting aspects of it that will people it will make people more appreciative of the beautiful things that are in the swamp. I generally do shows now that support a good cause. I've done 43 shows this year, and all of them are associated with some benefit or cause to either help those that are disabled or to help some natural cause like this one. And I love the interactive okay. work that you they're get doing. It started it's, right um, here. There's a wood maker making tops for children, oh, yeah. and there are people actually painting. Um, I, we go to a lot of art shows. We don't see much of that. So, gosh, I, I just think this is going to be a wonderful thing for Chesapeake and for all the artists that are in the area and hopefully beyond. So far, I've made a little bit of a few bowls, some containers, and now my first top. So, just trying to get a feel for all the tools and, and learn it a little bit. She did real well for her first top, and this is a lot of fun. When we get new turners out here and a chance to come out and you know, demonstrate what they can do and learn a few things. Essentially, lay out a piece of pipe and I put a pattern on it, and then I cut it out with a jigsaw, and then I bend it to an appropriate size and then paint it. We used carpentry, mitering, doweling, and wood burning and oil painting to, to make the snake fit on the driftwood and make, give it a three dimensional uh, quality to it. Well, that stuff looks incredible, and judging by the crowds, the festival was quite a hit. 48 News will keep you updated when the 2016 date is set.